Hello, my name is Christine and I run a vintage shop called Prima Treasures on Etsy. Today I wanted to talk about these rustic uh, bar sets that are in a wooden case. And I, I kind of grouped them in my mind that way because they don't really have a name, but they all have a similar styling that basically boils down to um, the wooden case, which has a variety of different stylings. And then inside, they pretty much always have two of these amber decanters and four shot glasses. Um, there are some smaller sets that will sometimes just have a single decanter, but generally speaking, when you open them up, you tend to see the same pieces of barware. And most of these items were made in Japan, Taiwan, uh, Asian countries like that that were, you know, getting into the U.S. market and wanted to sell things to, you know, American customers. And so initially the ones that we started finding when we first started our business uh, were the pirate uh, tre treasure chest ones. And I really like these. We sell a lot of them. And one of the things I think is cool about them is they have these really fun lion head uh, medallions on the front. But you can see with the chest, you know, it's got pretty rustic styling. It's got these studs all over it. It's got this little hang chain on the side here and a, a fake <laughs> latch on the front. Um, and it's cool because you open it, you've got the barware, so you've got something that has a nice look to it and arguably could be called a hidden bar because when it's closed, you don't necessarily think, oh, there's barware in there. But then when you open it, you know, it's got this fun thing that you can do with the box, not just look at it. And then there's other variations on this theme. As I say, I do tend to see the pirate chest a lot, but I've got one in the middle that has a duck on top. And I haven't seen that one. In fact, this duck one might be just one of a handful I've seen over the last six, seven years. So the duck is not a common theme, but there are common ones uh, where you would have a wood box like this and the top would be like an old world map. There's also a version of it where you have the box looks like a stack of books. And then on the side, it will have these fake spines painted on with you know, random book titles, uh, sometimes classic books, and sometimes it just says bourbon book one. <laughs> so, I mean, they obviously kind of played with the theme. And then uh, at the far end over here, I have what I consider to be probably the more elaborate version of the wood chest with barware inside. And that's this cool castle. And you can see that they still have the lion head theme going on here. Then they have this emblem in the front that says S per Bijou on it, which I kind of assume is a company name, but honestly, I've seen so many castles with that on there that I'm not convinced that's actually true. It may have just been something that the various Asian uh, makers copied from each other. Anyway, the fun part about this one is that you lift up the top and you've got the bottles in there and then each of these sides opens up and the shot glasses fit in there. So it definitely has a bit of a hidden bar vibe to it. And you'll have to pardon this one. Um, I need to do a little bit of rehab on it, but I happened to sell all the other ones that were already in the store. So, you know, we're getting the rehab one in the video. Uh, anyway, so the castle bar I think is very cool. The pirate chest is the one I get the most of. Um, there are variations on the plain box theme, I guess you could call it, where it looks like a stack of books or it looks like a world map or something along those lines. But these things are, I don't wanna say prolific, they're not hard to find if you keep your eyes open, but they are starting to get a little bit more expensive. This past year, you know, when I first started five or six years ago, we were selling them for about $100. Now they're starting to creep up towards 150 because you know, uh, prices are going up. It's getting harder to get your hands on them. And so there's a little bit more competition there. A little bit more scarcity is happening. Um, but most of these were made in the 70s. I've actually perused old Sears and Penny's catalogs and I found the pirate chest and the castle listed as, you know, a giftware item 
in the 1970s era catalogs. I also have seen the um, fake stack of books listed. So they were basically from the 70s era and they seemed to sell them for a good, oh, I don't know, probably at least five years, maybe close to a decade. So anything you see like this is definitely from the 70s and usually made in Japan or Taiwan. And the way you know that is that a lot of times on the bottom of the bottle, it will have impressed in the glass. This one says right here, made in Taiwan. Sometimes the shot glasses will have little stickers on the bottom that say made in Japan or made in Taiwan. So, you know, they are marked in a, a, in a way, but that doesn't give you a lot of information. Occasionally on the underside of one, I will find a, an inspection sticker that says, you know, inspected by blah, 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 and it has the country and then it will also have a year. So that's a, another way that you could potentially identify your item to a specific year. But, and I can post the, the photos at the end of the video that show the catalog pages with uh, the two of these uh, barware sets listed in the various 70s catalogs. So I'm pretty confident that that's the timeline we're looking at for these, but they have a cool rustic look and they also kind of tap into the medieval and fantasy vibe. So I feel like you'd be hard pressed to find a husband or boyfriend out there who wouldn't find these appealing and want to have one in his uh, bar collection or main cave. So I hope you learned a little something about these and I appreciate you watching.